Good morning, everyone. Today, we're back at the Elm Creek Ranch. I'm starting off my morning here on the PC, looking at Marketplace here, seeing if there's any good deals on anything. And I am also playing a little bit of FS22 here, but let's get up out of the chair. We do have a few big things happening today, which I am pretty excited for here. Oh, we cannot forget an extra set of batteries here for the camera, as I'm gonna bring you along for the day here. But like always, guys, if you do end up enjoying today's video, please hit that like button, as it does help out the channel. Just putting my shoes on now, I don't think I need the coat, it's only about 70 degrees here, a light sweatshirt should do here, but today guys, the long awaited day has arrived here for us because we are going to be building a barn here on our property, although we do have this two car detached uh, garage, it doesn't really fit for everything we need and we need some more space here, why don't I just show you guys, let's get these doors open on up here now, I, I just keep buying things and we're going to continue here, but look at that guys, we got a tractor, we got the uh, old truck which we're gonna go over here pretty shortly here but last week guys we actually found this in a barn find and over the last week I've done a lot of work here to it now I did put a new set of tires on it the old ones were had a lot of dry rot on it so we got new tires on it new oil change I did vacuum the truck uh, clean out the air filters things like that and this thing is running really really good which is pretty exciting but before we actually build the uh, barn here today I I do want to go check out something on the marketplace here it's an older uh, lizard quad it's a 4x4 quad and they're wanting only about a thousand dollars here for it so I think we'll hop in this truck in a sense I really want to start to drive these old trucks more especially this one here the old Ford fire is on up here now I do believe the engine was made by International which is pretty sweet and we do have to watch uh, the uh, garage door here it is a bit tight and one thing with the barn guys I think this will only mainly be for mine and the uh, wife's vehicle here then all of our project trucks things like that are going to be in the barn. So far guys, I'm really enjoying the ranch series here. There's going to be lots to come here. I really want to get into projects around the property, including one cleaning up alongside the stream. That is going to be a lot of work here for something that's going to keep us busy for a few weekends here. But like I've mentioned several times, guys, the old kind of uh, historic uh, bridge here, just a pretty cool thing to keep driving in and out of on our way to town. Although this truck is from 1986, guys, it just runs like it's brand new here, really good condition, and although I want to drive it, I don't want to put too many miles here on it, it's definitely going to be put away all winter long uh, to keep the rust off it as well here, but oh wow, look at that guys, we are arriving here, we'll just kind of pull right on in here, wow, look at that, now like I mentioned guys, I just saw this on the marketplace this morning here, I sent a message that I'd be on my way here shortly, this is a thousand dollars here new quads are really really expensive and I, I want a quad but I don't want to spend five six thousand and those are cheap cheap uh, models and this thing here is pretty fancy oh look at that we do have a little area to put some extra luggage uh, tie downs things like that here hey this is pretty sweet here now the keys in it he did say he was actually out running a few errands and uh, the key was in it here yeah I would definitely buy it so I'm gonna go leave the money somewhere after I text him and we'll get it loaded up All right, we got the quad loaded on up here. Now, I, I did not bring ramps here. Definitely have to buy a set. I actually don't have any here, but I will say, guys, just lifting it up is uh, pretty easy. And luckily, though, this uh, quad was pretty light here. But you guys know that we kind of have a UTV with the Can-Am. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what model that was here, but I do want to get a quad to go riding on some trails. And I do have some buddies that do also have quads and go riding. So that should be a lot of fun here. I always like uh, to just buy things like this. And this is a pretty good deal I think even if we were to sell today we, we can sell for more than we paid which is always a good thing here although having toys guys is good they do depreciate and you definitely don't want to have too much money in uh, uh, toys uh, that's really only for enjoyment Looking at the time, guys, we're running a bit late here. This wasn't really planned to go by a quad here, but they should be arriving any minute. Uh, actually, they might be a few minutes late themselves here, but now we're going to be building the barn, and I think we're going to probably set it back probably 50, 60 feet here from the gravel drive and from the building, and then we'll put a nice drive up to it. So let's get going on that.
Well guys, here it is, our brand new barn. This is pretty sweet here. It does match the styling of both the garage and the ranch, which is good here. And we do have two overhangs on either side here. I plan to put the trailers on either side out of the weather, which is pretty sweet here. But you guys can see a lot of customizable, a lot of kind of design features that we did pay a lot more money than just a standard barn here. Really do like it. I believe these are 12 foot high doors, which is pretty sweet here. A little bit of overhang here, really nice window. Windows. Uh, some stone finish along the bottom. This thing does look pretty sweet here. And I did want some extra doors here. So what I'm thinking, guys, the main entrance is going to be over there. But I actually want to put a truck lift in here on this side. That way, we can still get things in and out on the other side. So I do want to order a truck lift. Probably a two-post. That way, we could do our own truck mods and things like that here. Now, we got some extra kind of loft uh, storage for all the truck mod parts and different things like that. So let's get everything brought on over hey why don't we get started off here with the old ford now guys i think this is probably one of the best barns i've seen here in quite some time for farm sim just really really cool let's see if we can get the tailgate folded down here get this unloaded here hey we could actually go rip in it once we get everything organized here but we'll get this unloaded and i think the truck should be good right about there over here at the garage, guys, I plan to move everything on over. That way we kind of clear up this space and hey, it's going to be a lot more organized here. Especially things like the snowmobile we'll be able to kind of put away here. Put a nice cover over it, not have to worry about moving it and things like that here because we're tight on room. And hey, like I mentioned before, we can even go buy some more things, which we're going to be doing here as well. I just really do enjoy uh, these types of ranch videos. Definitely a pretty neat addition uh, to the homeowner series here but let's see where can we put this now you guys see i put the quad over there actually we should be able to fit this lengthwise here oh wow look at that there's so much room perfect i actually might want to switch these uh, but hey we got it in uh and wow there's gonna be a lot of extra room more than i was thinking all right, let's take the Can-Am UTV, and I will say, guys, this is actually a pretty good mixture of uh, kind of a sporty UTV and still have kind of a work bed uh, to get uh, still get things done here, which is pretty sweet here. This thing is a lot of fun to go ripping around the property with as well, and I think uh, it's going to be a tough choice between this and the uh, quad uh, now that we have that here. But this one, actually, we could probably park this right in here at an angle. Oh, yeah, no problem. We're going to have a lot of room if we end up parking them like that all right let's get the Kubota fired on up here now I do need to bring over some other attachments here like the backhoe things like that but I think for now we'll just kind of get the big things moved on over so like I mentioned guys I'm going to be going on the uh, computer once I go inside here to get a uh, a truck lift ordered here. I also want to get a toolbox. Definitely have to have a toolbox if you own a barn and some different things like that. Actually, let's see if we can kind of get this pulled on in here. Free up just a little bit of room. And now, guys, I think it's time to go ripping around here in the new quad. We have a lot of land. We should go exploring here. Definitely just kind of try this one out here. Now, this is a little bit older. I think this is, I would say, early 2000s, maybe 2004, 2005. And I will say, guys, this thing is pretty sweet here but i think i'm just gonna go riding around and put down the camera so hope you guys enjoyed today's video thanks for watching uh stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more